How are you doing ladies and germs and everyone in between? Well, I haven't done any videos in a very long time. It's been like a year for me. Um, so after binge watching four seasons of Stranger Things over the course of four or five days, I was very sick. I didn't have anything to do. Don't judge me. But also, I'm not a very busy person nowadays. Anyway, um, that's what happens when you graduate and you're unemployed. Anyway, let's move away from that more real shit. So, I wanted to build... I have this Minecraft server, right? Where I play with my friends, survival and all that. Uh, and I've been doing some creative building because I've been bored. Out of my mind. And I thought, well, Hawkins. That's what I thought. I thought one word, Hawkins. Well... After watching the show, I was like, damn, th those buildings look really cool. Some of those buildings, they look like they'd be fun to build. Like, the Department of Energy looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that next. But the first thing that popped to my head was Creel House. Pro probably the most important location in all of Season 4. And this place is unlike anything I've ever built. Because, for one, it's a Victorian house, and I've never built any of them. Anyone who's played, like, Assassin's Creed 3, you know the house where, like, Achilles... Is that his name? I can't remember. I think it is. I haven't played it in many years. But the house where the, the assassin master who trains Connor lives, that's like... And it's also in The Walking Dead. The same house is also in The Walking Dead. It's like that style of house, but this has more like shapes to it. But the basis is the same, or at least very, very similar. So the windows, the architectural design itself, the roof, everything is like very, very similar. And it's very challenging, at least for me. It's very challenging. I, I like, I'm, I'm a good builder, if I don't, if you, you know, humble brag, I am a good builder. And I'm good, very good at like transforming real things into Minecraft buildings. But the caveat here is I don't plan shit. So I go back and forth a lot. And you're going to see throughout this video, I'm going to go back and forth a lot. This is not a tutorial because truth be told, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, I'm just seeing what sticks, you know, throwing shit at the wall and seeing which which pieces of of human fecal matter stick to to this Victorian wall. And as it happens, I think I've succeeded. Uh, you'll see at the end, or if you skip the video, I suppose you'll see, or if you look at the thumbnail. But yeah, you'll see that the finished building. I think I, I managed it. But the problem is, I only used reference pictures. I tried to use reference pictures only from the TV show, from the series. Uh, and not from the real location because some things are different and some of the colors are different I was looking at that and it, it was a bit weird some of the colors of the buildings look different in the real building compared to what they did to it in the Netflix show like I, I don't know if they used a filter over it or or what but I don't know if I don't even know how much of it they filmed at the location or how much they just copied and made into a set but anyway so I th there's very limited material you know what the front of it looks like very well and one of the sides which is the side that you see me you know breaking a load of block stairs because I don't quite know how I'm gonna do this yet I figure it out later pretty much the same thing I'm doing now I do later but a bit better so that's pretty much what's gonna happen but uh, and that's the same for like the entire entire anything that I go back and forth on I just figure it out later very well so it pays off, I swear. Um, and basically, like, the, the reference pictures are very... For now, we know a bit of the interior and we know a bit of the exterior. But the back, I don't think we've seen even once. And the other side, the one that I'm not on right now, the opposite side, that one, I don't think we've seen yet either. And I didn't want to, like, look it up. I didn't want to, like, metagame in that way. But it is, like... It is definitely like uh, it's gonna. It, I'm gonna have to go back to it, and I'm I'm, I'm hoping that next week, at least at the time of recording, you know, on the first of July next week, that we see more of Creel House, so I know more of the exterior in the Stranger Things universe. But also, I'm gonna do an upside down version, so I'm gonna put a Nether portal. Here's what I'm gonna do: spoiling the next video probably, uh, if I don't do Department of uh, Energy yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a Nether portal somewhere around the entrance. And then when you step in another portal, you're going to go to the corresponding location. Like if you step through the, the door and it's another portal, you're going to go to the door in the upside down. So, you know, just I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put a portal down and where the portal lands, I'm building the house. So that's going to take a lot of fuckery because the nether is not a friendly place to, to build. But I have world at it, as you can see from all the, the flat land around. Like I flattened the massive swamp because I think Hawkins, from what we see in the show, fits a, fits a lot better with a, a swamp sort of biome and some pine trees sure i'll put a lot of pine trees as well but oak trees right there in the background you can see so it's all like i, I think it fits well but anyway as you can see i have world edit 
So I think the next video is going to be the upside down version of this house. The basis, obviously, of an upside down place is, is the same, but different. It's the same, but it's overgrown with like disgusting vines and like and like slime and like all this all this disgusting loopy stuff. And uh, I don't know if I can make a Demogorgon though out of Minecraft blocks. I don't think I can manage to make a Demogorgon, but who knows? Maybe there's there's far more skilled people than me out there. And I'm sure I've seen that other people have done Creel houses in Minecraft, but and I looked briefly at pictures, but I didn't want to stare too long because I didn't want to like get influence. You know what I mean? I, I didn't want to like, I wanted this to be from me. You know, this is my house. This is my build. And this is my imagination going into it. And this is my like, this is me just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. No one else is like, I don't want to copy other people. That's not fair. And that's not very artistic, but uh, I saw that there because I was when I was looking for for reference pictures, some of the top like image results were a couple of Minecraft builds. They look really good, but they don't quite look like what I want. And what I want is also something that looks to scale, but in Minecraft. Uh, and to say that it's to scale doesn't mean that it's precisely what it should be, because blocks in Minecraft are obviously very different size to what like like those white pieces those white bits uh that i'm putting all the quartz around that would be a lot smaller if it were to scale right it would be a lot smaller than it is in minecraft but i can't change that and i like having the white because it breaks that monotony of just light blue terracotta and it, it's in the in the build you know there's all that white paint uh going going you know all over all over the house and these really nice details and these these nice sort of you know vertical stripes sort of thing vertical like lines i suppose it's very important for the detail so that's like you know that's one of the challenges of doing this and uh, i didn't want to be influenced so uh, i but they were very good i will say but it, they don't look like i i need a house that i can make an interior for right so i need a house that i can make explode like this house is going to be massive like you guys can see the front the front is not even finished in this in this in this moment in the video but my by god like it's it's massive and uh, the back there's so much going on because using the very few reference pictures that we have i could make like a bit i could i could get an idea of how long the back is if that makes sense like how long it goes for um and i think i did a good enough job but the problem again is blocks of minecraft and you know the the real life measurements they're they're different isn't like isn't a block like a meter or something uh or something along those lines um so obviously it's uh you know it, it's different it's not going to be the same but for minecraft it definitely works and i'm happy with that i will change a few things as i said uh, even in the final product, I will change things between now and the next episode or even in the next episode, whichever, depending on how many things I have to change, whether it's worth recording um, to make it presentable for the upside down and also like explorable in the inside. Because if it's too big and I don't have enough like decoration, because there's only so much decoration you can put down in vanilla Minecraft and there's only so many ways you can like use stairs and fences and pressure plates to look like different objects and cauldrons and all that and trapdoors like there's only so many ways there's a lot of ways but they're limited um if you hear a motorcycle going on in the background i'm sorry that's the bad part of living in the big city i hate it so much man i really I, I, one day i want to live to in a place in a place like hawkins hopefully less like less into interdimensional conflict like uh, you know less less like demogorgon type stuff and less like creel and mind flayer type stuff and more just a uh, quiet town where nothing ever happens not to mention even starcorp all and all the the russians that were <laughs> all the all the russian like scientists who were building a death laser to open the portal to another world god it's very starcraft probably is it star no stargate i'm an idiot sorry stargate is that what i'm thinking of stargate the star god there's a minecraft mod of stargate anyway i'm getting sidetracked again if you I, I get sidetracked a lot. Um, there's a Minecraft mod of Stargate that I remember from years ago. I think it was like 2020 the last time I saw it. Not that not that long ago, but after the pandemic, 2020 feels like it's 10 years ago as opposed to two. So yeah, Stargate mod, very cool. Check it out if you like Stargate and Minecraft. There's a lot of cool Minecraft mods, but again, like like vanilla decorate i i was i almost okay i almost installed mods on the server uh, but then i remember the hassle of it 
because uh, it is a bit of a hassle to, to install mods in Minecraft servers and like making sure that everyone knows how to inst I, I don't trust people enough to that they, that they know how to install mods, you know, knowing my friends uh, who I play with on this server. So instead, you know, <laughs> none of that stuff. But um, yeah, it's like it's like. I almost installed mods for furniture because I was that frustrated at the lack of options I would have. But I think I can make it work, right? So I, I've already got a few plans. Like I've got a few plans for Henry Creel's room and for like all that stuff. Uh, I make a few reference points in the interior during this build, like spruce blocks to see, like spruce planks to see where the floors are gonna be on each floor, like the attic and the uh, the first floor and the like, you know the ground floor and the uh, the first floor and then the, the attic, um, and then like I, I'm obviously gonna change that, but just for a reference, I do like the fireplace. I have to build a fireplace, which I'm, I'm gonna start on very soon right now. Uh, the fireplace is in that corner, pretty much, and uh, you know to know where the fireplace is, I had to build a little bit of a small stretch of living room. And the only reference I had for that was the scene where the crib is on fire inside the fireplace. Spoilers if you haven't seen, but if you haven't seen the episode, what are you even doing here? This is a very self-declared <laughs> season 4 build, so spoilers are certainly to be expected. Um, and, uh, you know, the details, like, you, you see me just deleting stuff with World Edit, that's both, that's not just like, I'm not frustrated, right? It seems like I'm, I don't know, pissed off and throwing a tantrum when I delete something like that. But I'm perfectly, I'm, I'm never as calm as when I'm building. No other point in my life am I as calm as when I'm building in Minecraft. Even something as hard as this. I had to build this in like three different sessions, most of which were one hour long. Three different sessions, most of which, right? I could just say two of which. Two of which were one hour long. And the other one was like half an hour. And uh, that's this is how much work I could put in. And this video is sped up eight times, right? Because I used replay mod and the highest it can go is eight times. So what you're seeing here is a lot of trial and error for that very reason. Not only am I improvising completely, but it's also going by a lot, not only a lot faster than it seems, but also a lot slower than it seems. Like for me, from my point of view, when I'm building this, time is moving very slowly, right? But in reality, I am building pretty fast. Like I didn't even notice how fast I was built. Like I, I, I build pretty fast, right? Uh, when the cameras are on, it's normal for you to build this fast, which is why I was hesitant to record to begin with. But it turns out, like this is this I, I do well with this this is why i'm so convinced that i can maybe continue um this commentary track has so far has been like very just me rambling and i haven't stopped to breathe or talk or drink water in this whole period of time but i'm just very excited i'm very hyped i hope you guys like this build and i hope you guys are liking the commentary so far and the choice of music i had to I, I got a lot of kevin mcleod music kevin mcleod has the most music out of any copyright free or or copyright like you know the uh, potentially copyright free artist right he does have copyright technically but uh it's the sort of copyright where you you have the license to use it in the in the way that i'm using in the way that youtubers use it which is just leaving it on in the background like it's a limited so it's a it's a like limited license but anyway Kevin MacLeod, a lot of music, a lot of really good stuff. I just looked up synth, right? I just looked up synth music. So any music that had a synth at any point, and then I listened to several and chose which ones I would rather have in my video, which ones I would like the most. So there's some upbeat ones, there's some less upbeat ones, like the one that is currently playing is like a bit less upbeat and more sort of... Um, somber or perhaps like it's a, it's more similar to stranger things right it's more similar to the stranger things soundtrack where it has that sort of mysterious quality to it and that's exactly what i went for uh but some of these are more upbeat because i really felt the groove i really felt the groove as i was building this this music just it really it really sometimes it really captures how i feel when building which is that groovy you know almost high octane you know thrilling feel of getting something right nothing's as exciting like look at how good this establishing shot of the house already looks compared to the source material which i can't show because i don't own the pictures and i don't want to get in trouble for that but um look at how good that looks like it's not it's not like i said it's not like one-to-one -one ridiculous or anything it's it's loyal faithful recreation 
right? Not exact recreation, but it is faithful and it is the best I could come up with in that time. And to be honest, it's not even too shabby. Like it's def for a first try sort of thing with very short building sessions. This I can I can improve from here, but it is already very good. Of course, I don't know how actually big the, the house on the interior is. I, I need to look that up. I need to like, not just look that up. I need to rewatch the episodes meticulously and map out each single room and the size of it. And the attic is going to be real challenging, which is why I'm going to redo this later, of course, as I said, because uh, you'll see very soon that I did a very like improvised roof. Like I did a very improvised roof because I just wanted to cap it off, right? I wanted to cap it off and come back to it later. And I changed a few things even after the camera stopped rolling, which you'll see maybe um, in some shots, you might be able to realize like the chimney I changed after the camera stopped rolling because while the cameras were rolling, I didn't have the idea. And you can see that I made a very phallic first chimney and I instantly went, oh yeah, that, that looks like a dick. And I just started changing, especially with the base. The base there with the living room, I'm pointing at the monitor, but you can't see. But the base with the living room definitely looked like um, like a, a very phallic object uh, flanked by two spherical spherical objects. It's de it definitely looked like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I over-designed it a bit. You know, I over-designed the chimney a bit, then I break it and think of something else. And uh, then I eventually leave it because I think I'm content, but then I have an epiphany later that uh, that really seals the deal. And then I start capping off the roof. I don't know exactly how the roof is going to go, and I've already changed my mind on this. I'm going to change this later. The roof is going to go a bit taller than this. It's going to be a bit more slanted in, and I might drop the, the stairs in favor of actual deep slate tiles like the towers right because it shows a slanting that's the thing it's a bit hard i want to I'm, I'm gonna find a way to do a slanting roof more like what we actually see because this roof feels okay but not quite right okay if you get my drift like if you if you look at the attic i need to find a way to turn this massive roof into that attic and i could of course do some there is some magic i can do like i can make a really big exterior and then in the interior i build more like i build a, a smaller roof on the interior to make it look you know i could do that to make it look like it's the same size but at the same time i don't know it feels disingenuous but as you can see we're coming to an end of this build and i'm i'm, I'm finishing off the details on this side of the house which is the last side that we have that it, that at least i found from the tv show uh full shots of the exterior so you see this when they're moving in when the creels are moving in and you see the top windows you don't see any windows on the bottom but knowing what these victorian houses are like i found it a healthy gamble to say that there are matching windows on the on the first floor on the on the ground floor so to speak uh compared to those so so you know i duplicate those top windows into the bottom row and um and then uh, I think I want to do the same to the back and to the other side, which is make more windows, right? Because these houses have a lot of windows and they're all very grand or at least very like decorated like this, like very like tall, even if not very wide, they're very tall. They have that sort of, you know, all that very notorious stuff that you see right there. The notorious detail, I mean, that you see right there. So now that we're capping it off, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking by me. Hope you enjoyed the commentary track. And I'm... Well, I'm very proud of this sequence. I hope you enjoy it too. I'm proud of it, but it's not that that, that big. Um, I hope you enjoy it too.